Hey everyone, Luke here from Pretty Tutor. In today's tutorial, I will teach you how to set up a basic camera system with some animation for it, which will help for those of you who want to present their work within Unreal Engine 5, whether it be an object, an asset, or an entire level. So to get started, we're going to go onto the upper left corner, click Add, and then within it, we'll find a cinematic tab. So with it, we're going to find a couple of options, but we only are interested in Cine Camera Actor. So let's go ahead and drag it out to get ourselves a camera. So I'll just turn away my camera around since I want it to be facing an object like so. Now that we have ourselves a basic camera, we also are going to need a level sequencer. However, we're not going to be creating it from a add tab since once we create this, it'll be just an empty shell. And instead, what we want is we want to create it within our content drawer. So let's right click, then hover over animations, and we're going to find ourselves a level sequence. That's what we want. Now, if we were to drag it out, we're going to get ourselves a level sequence with a sequence attached that's within our content drawer. Now we can either double click on this, or we can just simply click open level sequence with the level sequence selected on our level. So if we were to click on it, we get a tab like this. Now we'll want to get some settings for the camera. So for us to do that, we're going to click on our camera and then find it within an outliner and simply drag it into the sequencer like so. This way, it'll give us a couple of options to work with. But the one we're looking for is the transform tab, which if we open up has location, rotation and scale with it. But we don't particularly need to work with them separately. What we can do is have it closed down, collapsed. And instead, we're just going to be clicking on this button over here to add a new key. And now if we were to move our sequencer outside, our initial the default key that we created. So let's just get out of the camera for a bit. We can do that by clicking on this button over here to unlock it out of the viewport. And now if we have our sequencer moved, if we have the timeline for a sequencer moved and we move our camera outwards to the side like so, then if we were to click on the add a new key, We'll create a new key with the motion to move it sideways. We will get something like this. Now, if we were to play it, however, it's not going to do anything for our scene. And that is because what we need to do is we need to get back onto our level sequencer and make sure that our autoplay is selected. And now with it selected, if we hit play, our camera is going to move sideways just like that. Now to delete the key, all we need to do is click on the key itself and hit delete just like that. We're going to remove ourselves the motion we had before. Now one more thing for the camera motion. In case you want it to be rotating around your object like so, what we can do is we can attach our camera to the point of an object. So for that, what you can do is click Add Basics Actor, and then drag it into the world like so. Set it up the way you want it to. I want it to be just in front of our object like so, just in front of its face. Now what we can do is we can attach this actor onto the camera. I'll firstly rename this empty actor by clicking F2. I'll call this as a focal camera point, like so. Now you'd think that all you have to do is drag the camera onto the focal point in order to attach it. However, if we do that and move the timeline just a little bit, you'll notice that the camera just bounces off way in the distance and we don't want it to happen. So what I recommend you doing is before actually making animation for the camera is firstly 
delete the transformations for the camera itself. And then afterwards, once we drag the camera onto the focal point, we're going to create a new transform key within our camera. This way, when we move the timeline, it is going to be sticking up within the focal point. Once we have it set like that, we can move our empty actor and the camera is going to be following with it. This also applies for rotation. So if we hit E and rotate our camera. It is going to be able to follow the rotation alongside an object, just like that. So what we can do is we can attach the transformation settings or this empty actor within a sequencer. For that, we'll simply drag and drop it into our sequencer like so. And then in order to add a transformation similar to the one we had for the camera, we're going to click track, click transform. And there you have it. Now we have a transform option with it. If we were to add a key, move our timeline just a little bit further down and rotate our point like so. Then create a new key. We hit play. We're going to get our cellist rotation for the camera. Now, if we want to, we can combine this with the motion of our camera. So if we get ourselves a camera, let's say to be going closer in. Yeah, let's go closer to an object. So let's say this amount and add a key or our camera like so. We're going to get this sort of an animation. So that's pretty much it, guys. By combining a couple of transformation tool motion, we're able to create a nice camera animation. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Make sure to check out our other online goods that we have. We do online courses, create 3D assets, and PBR textures. All links can be found in the description down below. Thanks for watching.